Hello, my name is Amanda Gibson, and today I will be teaching you how to solve a system of linear equations using elimination. So, step one, read the problem and identify what our variables mean and our system of equations. So, to start us off, Julia bought 15 flowers for $35. Sunflowers are $3 each, and daisies are $2 each. How many of each type of flower did she buy? Down here in our information box, we have sunflowers equals S and daisies equals D. So for our first equation, what we get is Julia bought 15 flowers, meaning that as a total, Julia has 15 flowers. And there's only two types of flowers. So we get S plus D equals 15. For our second equation, Julie bought 15 flowers for $35, meaning that as a total, she spent $35. If sunflowers are $3 each and daisies are $2 each, what we've reduced from that is $3 times the amount of sunflowers plus $2 times the amount of daisies because daisies are $2 each and sunflowers are $3 each equals $35. So we don't write the dollar amount. Okay. Now, on to step two. Step two is to figure out a way that we could eliminate a variable. So writing our equations, we have 3s plus 2d equals 35 dollar amount. And we have s plus d equals 15. So as you look at the equation, you're probably wondering, how am I going to find, how am I going to eliminate a variable if neither of these match up? What you can do is multiply the equation with that one of the equations that doesn't match up by a number, preferably the smallest number, which is two. And to make it match up even better, you add a negative sign so that they cancel out, eliminating variable D. On to step three. Step three is to add your equations. 3s plus 2d equals 35. And negative 2s minus 2d equals negative 30. Distributing the two to the whole equation. What we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So now adding it up, we get these two cancel out because negative 2d, 2d, and 3s minus 2s equals 1s, but we don't write the 1. And 35 minus 30 is 5. So what we get here is s equals 5. On to step 4. Step 4 is to plug in what one of the variables equals into your equation. So the easiest way to find out what the second variable means, d, or what it equals, is to plug it into the equation, which is the most simplest one without coefficients, smaller numbers, s plus d equals 15. So we have s plus d equals 15, writing our original equation, plugging in five, we get five plus d equals 15. Now, subtracting 5 from each side, we get, up top here, d equals 10. Most people don't think that your check step is important, but it's a good way to make sure you got the correct answer. So, on to our check step. We write the original equations, s plus d equals 15. Plugging in, we get 5 plus 10 equals 15. And they match because 15 does equal 15. Now onto our more complex equation. We have 3s plus 2d equals 35.
plugging in, 3 times 5 plus 2 times 10 equals 35. 15 plus 20 equals 35. Thirty-five equals thirty-five. They match. It's correct. And now our final answer is Julia bought five sunflowers and ten daisies. Thank you for watching, everyone. And that's the end of this video. You just learned how to solve a system of equations using elimination. If you have any videos that you will teach us how to do something, please share it. Bye.